Hi, welcome to Drive With Care. I did warn you, <laughs> I was going to do more driving, and I am doing more. Because I'm in Margate, I'm going to drive from Margate to Reculver Towers, and I'm going to go through Birchington. So without further ado, as they say, let's join a one-way road, King Street. Take us back through Marine Parade down the front of um, Margate, up to Birchington, join the dual carriageway, and then get into Reculver, very narrow lanes, etc. Car turning, lights of red, and now they're orange. I was half tempted from my previous video to just have a walk around, do some photography. But then I realized today is my driving day. I wanted to get out and do some driving. So, um, priorities, right? Right, so we'll turn right at the clock tower. I think I'm driving away from the sun, which is going to be good for the road and less glare little fiat trying to nip in people are arriving at margate dreamland did some filming there for the empire of the sun was that the colin firth movie lights are changing I'm in the right hand lane because I want to go right at this roundabout. I will indicate because that's what you do, it's the etiquette, isn't it? And then I'll indicate off. And the, the little Fiat stayed in the left hand lane, which was for the station. People pass their test and then immediately forget the rules. And the rules aren't, if you're at a roundabout, use the left lane for straight on or left, use the right lane. It's all about reading the road signs, reading the markings on the road as well, because they give you all the clues and the hints to the secret thing we call driving for those of us in the special club. I feel like this is a Saturday morning when I used to be a cab driver and I'd hear the conversations going on over the radio between the other drivers and the controller. And now that's substituted for me talking to you on a Saturday morning. it's a 30 zone and it is speed camera controlled to a 40 zone. But still doing 30. Oh, he's woken up now. I'm not quite 
quite sure of this route, so I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled for the road signs and things. There's a road just out of South End, the A127, and it comes along like this with lights, and it's it's almost identical. It gives you that kind of deja vu feeling. And suddenly I think, hang on, I'm in South End. <laughs> I'll have to do a drive to South End sometime. That was my very first IT contract back in 1998 working for HMRC, no less, and I wrote a piece of software that randomly selects traders, and a trader is a business, for VAT checks. <laughs> I wonder if they're still using that piece of software. I'm getting past this car that was doing 28 because it's a 40 zone. So yeah, the reason I mentioned that is because I would drive, I then lived in Ashford, I would drive from Ashford to South End every single day. It was about an hour and 10 minutes drive up the M20 over the bridge or through the tunnel and then down the A A13, is it? But occasionally I'd do the 127 Uh, someone commented that, you know, new beard growth requires, you know, rubbing and stroking. I can't help it. It's just like, I can feel it growing. But I think it looks dashing and distinguished for a 61-year-old. You've got to change your appearance every now and again. Welcome to Birchington, entering into two-way traffic. I think we carry on through Birchington. I'll watch the signs because up ahead as we go into Birchington, there's a mini roundabout right in the center. And I can't remember if I turn left, but that goes towards Sturry. And I actually want to go on the north side of Kent. 25 miles an hour. Yeah, traffic's building up for this Saturday morning. But what I like about autumn, and even winter for that fact, is that the sun doesn't get right up in the top of the sky. So you get all these kind of shadows and the light streaming through. It's my photography eye now. I'm kind of seeing images. Right, roundabout's coming up. Let's read the signs. Canterbury to the left and London. 299. I think we go left here. I'll do a left. I'm not sure if um, that road goes through Birchington. But I think we can get onto the... Um, your carriageway this way. Fish and Chips Cafe. <laughs> How lovely. Into a 40. Throat narrows on the right. I can see Reculver Towers over there. We 
which is where I want to go. Car pulling out. We're now into a 50 zone and we've got variable or average speed checks. Does that mean right? I'm trying to think in terms of measuring the speed. If you do, say it's three miles long, you do one mile at 45 miles an hour, you do one mile at 50 miles an hour, and then you can do one hour, one mile at 55 miles an hour, it will average out to 50 miles an hour, won't it? I've often wondered why some people tear past me at a 50 zone and I think you're going to get a ticket. But they may have been driving slower at a previous section. The things that go through your mind when you're driving, eh? No U-turns. I am doing 50, and so is the BMW. Where can you do a U-turn? It says no U-turns, but I can't see any slip roads. Are they anticipating people driving on the grass verge, do you think? There's a distinct black cloud, trails of smoke. Right where the vapour is, you'll see it in a minute when we turn right. We're taking the M2, or the A299, which ultimately becomes the M2, but we're not joining a motorway. Insignia went all the way round, didn't indicate round, and didn't indicate off. That's worth a slap, isn't it? Herm Bay is seven miles away, so where is Rukulva? I know I've got to kind of come off the dual carriageway and double back on myself to get on the Rukulva road. We shall see. Right, it's national speed limit. Dual carriageway so we can hit 70. Which I'm now doing. I always peeled for a culver. St. Nicholas at Wade. See the towers there, so it's got to be a junction along here somewhere. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Let me know if you see it before I do. <laughs> Drop me a comment. I saw the 
junction just before you said it. That might be the bridge we've got to go over. Is it? I'm going to, I'm going to chance it, you know. I'm going to chance it. I'm sure all, all roads lead to Reculver. Probably going the wrong way now anyway. North Stream. Just following my instinct here. Still national speed limit. That goes to Ramsgate. Kelva, one and a half miles. Yay! Give way. Nothing to my right. Got cyclists in the road. Weak bridge, 500 yards ahead. Because I've seen three, I'm anticipating more cyclists. With Country Lane taking me down to the towers. I think. Yes, I've seen three. There may be more cyclists, so I'm keeping myself tuned in for that. Here's the weak bridge. Give way to oncoming traffic. There's no oncoming traffic. I can see. Something coming ahead. I saw something red. There was a cyclist. few blind bends here. The road I was expecting to go on is just here. So we're joining it at a T-junction. I was expecting to come down from the left there. That's fine. I took the wrong junction. Oh, it's very blind, and there's a car coming. Because that car's going right, it, it lets me know that there's some clear way on the right, because it's so narrow. Got some cyclists, though. I can see the towers. I don't know if the camera's picking it up through the trees. there's some kind of road race going on or time trials or you know if you're in a bike club and they say let's meet Saturday we'll go from Reculva up to the next village and back and then da, 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 da. time themselves just to keep fit right Margate to Reculva here we are Could have gone in there, but I'm going to take it to the end. Because if you want to go to Reculver, you've got to go to Reculver Towers, haven't you? I believe that one of the towers, and it might be the left one, is now open to the public and you can walk up it or climb up it with the stairs. I think it 
is managed by English Heritage, of which I'm a member, so that's fine. We're going to get back. Oh, look, here's all the cyclists. stopping so I'll just park here like this so that we get a view of the tower I could potentially use that as a thumbnail couldn't I <laughs> that was Margate to Reculver Towers kind of following my nose but that was fine you know when you're out driving sometimes that's all you need to do stay tuned I'm doing quite a few today so um I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bearing with. Bye for now. Drive with care.